Over the centuries, the world's most renowned philosophers and scholars dedicated their time and efforts contemplating, staring, and calculating space. The mission was to find answers to one of the most important questions of human existence. Even to this day, it's as if we have a firm grasp of understanding, but at the drop of a hat, that grip can quickly slip. It's the question that burns in all of our minds. How did the universe evolve and come into being, and what might be its future? More specific questions linger, such as, what kind of explosion was the Big Bang? Can galaxies recede faster than light? Can we see galaxies receding faster than light? Why is there a cosmic redshift? How large is the observable universe? Do objects inside the universe expand too? Now in this day and age, our understanding of the cosmos has significantly advanced. But every insight has thrown up new questions and new mysteries. Now, with further study, scientists say we misunderstood the Big Bang and the universe all along. Is it time to head back to the drawing board? Let's take a deep space dive and discover. Welcome back to Space Infinity. Suddenly there was the Big Bang. The genesis of the Big Bang theory can be traced to eminent scientist Edwin Hubble. Not only did he discover that there are actually galaxies other than the Milky Way, he also found out that we live in an ever-expanding universe where all galaxies are actually moving away. And on top of that, he figured out that the farther the galaxy, the faster it is receding. The father of the Big Bang theory, Georges Lemaitre, a Belgian cosmologist and Catholic priest, came to the same profound conclusions. The universe is continuously expanding, now consider a retrogression going back in time. In the past, the universe was smaller, and as we reach time equal to zero, all visible universe collapses down to an infinitely small volume of infinite density and infinite temperature. Physicists refer to this event as singularity or primeval atom. At the stage of everything in the universe being condensed down to the primeval atom, there is no space, there is no time, but suddenly there was a Big Bang. As you've noticed with any typical explosion, debris flies out and spreads unevenly at different distances from the blast center. But the Big Bang shot out the same amount of material over the same distance in all directions. As a result, a homogeneous universe in space and time was born. That indicates that the so-called Big Bang was not big, nor was it a bang. What triggered this? It's almost impossible to answer. We may never know as singularity and the laws of physics, as we know them, contradict each other. After the Big Bang, space began to expand and cool down at a speed faster than light. The period when this happened is identified as the inflation period. Mysteriously, what caused the inflation still eludes us, but physicists have been able to ascertain that it only lasted for a very short time. After that, the universe continued to coast, and that's where we stand today in the vast expanding universe. While on cruise control, the universe continued to expand and became cooler. Energy started getting converted to matter, antimatter, particles, and radiation. The first matter to be formed were fundamental particles like quarks and bosons, which condensed creating protons and neutrons. The formation of atoms took a long time, as electrons, which are fundamental to the structure of an atom, could not coalesce with the ions and were involved in incessant collisions with photons, which are the particles that make light. When finally, atoms and elements like hydrogen and helium were formed, the universe became transparent from its earlier opaque appearance. From that point of development, gravity kicked in and clumped large sums of matter. After about 100 million years of this dense and intense heat, Nuclear fission gave way for the birth of the first stars. In another 600 million years, galaxies were formed followed by planets and the solar system. The universe as we see it took its splendid shape. The discovery of CMB. Indeed it's true, scientists do have compelling empirical evidence of the Big Bang thanks to the discovery and study of cosmic microwave background radiations, or CMB, which were discovered in 1965. When the universe had cooled enough to form atoms, a huge amount of light was liberated into space, and it has been traveling through the universe ever since, unabated. These primordial photons can be seen as CMB. CMB is the light that was released into the universe 380,000 years after the Big Bang. It was 3,000 degrees Celsius when released. 
To this point in time, it stands at only 2.7 degrees above absolute zero due to the continuous expansion. Cosmologists have been meticulously measuring CMB with the latest advancements in technology. This has resulted in higher and higher precision of instruments that accurately indicates the concept of the Big Bang. Plus, by using equations of general relativity and nuclear physics, cosmologists have calculated how much helium, beryllium, and lithium should have been formed. With these details and formulas, the results are again consistent with the quantities actually found in the universe. For more info to seal the deal on the Big Bang, experiments carried out by accelerating protons to the speed of light in the Large Hadron Collider at CERN have successfully produced quarks, gluon plasma that existed shortly after the Big Bang. These observations serve as a highly persuasive argument in favor of the Big Bang. Although the Big Bang theory does not explain the exact, precise moment of creation, it does explain things after the moment of creation of the universe. However, there are many missing pieces. To be totally honest, humankind does not have the faintest idea about what happened in the first moments of the Big Bang. Here's the mishap. After the Big Bang, both matter and antimatter were created. As the universe cooled and expanded, matter and antimatter should have destroyed each other. This would have left the universe without any galaxies, stars, planets, or life. Yet, as clear as you and I are here today, that prediction and model doesn't line up somehow there's an imbalance between matter and antimatter, and we do not comprehend it. Even finding a way to study antimatter is an elusive grand mystery. Antimatter. It's an incredibly shocking fact that five-sixths of all the matter in the universe is dark matter. Now keep in mind that mankind still doesn't have an inkling about what it truly is. However, physicists have noticed that space is not only expanding, it is accelerating. This observation is credited to dark energy, yet we don't even know why it exists, let alone what it actually is, and how exactly it manipulates its surroundings. Without a doubt, one of the greatest gifts man has devised is our sense of learning through observations and trials. Science offers some fascinating and solid narratives for discovery. So a true scientist always remains open-minded to alternative theories. Here's a few. Alternative theories to the Big Bang the steady-state model. The steady-state model averts that even though the universe is expanding, it really does not change its appearance over time. The universe has no beginning and no end. It falls into the perfect cosmological principle where matter must be continually created in order to keep the universe's density from decreasing. Although it agrees that the universe is continually expanding, it still maintains the same overall density. It's another way of saying that galaxies, planets, and other forms of matter are locked in a continual regeneration. It's a reincarnation of matter, since the density remains the same. The Bouncing Cosmological Model In this cosmological model, also known as the Big Bounce, data shows that our universe is cyclical. It's a model of the universe that involves a rapid Big Bang-like expansion of the universe alongside a bungee cord function that totally rewinds the universe's expansion. It's a theory of the contraction of the universe. Next, we have Plasma Electric Universe Theory. First proposition by physicist Hans Alphen in the 1930s, the electric universe theory indicates that if plasma pervaded the universe, it could surely carry electric currents capable of generating a galactic magnetic field. For his work in magnetohydrodynamics, he eventually won a Nobel Prize. In his electric universe model, gravity takes a back seat to plasma and electromagnetism. In this theory, plasma takes up an integral role in cosmological events and the fundamental order of the universe, proposing electric currents that flow along plasma filaments, which are in turn capable of shaping and powering galaxies. These are just a few. Exploring the unknown and pushing back the frontier of our current ignorance is what science has been destined for. In your expedition to reach the rock-bottom cold hard truth, be sure to continue the space saga, Space Infinity. After you've tapped that like button and have double-checked your subscription, check out the Space Infinity video archive as if it's a map to the cosmos.